Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha, the preacher. Okay. All right, now. <laughs> now, this video here is a different type of video. I haven't made anything like this in a while. So, um, but it's related to me, Dr. Leisha, the preacher. At this point, I call it possessing the presidency. I have no desire to run for president. You know, I just want to possess it. You know, I just want to be able to make suggestions to it. You know, um, so I'm going to just start sharing my presidential ideas and concerns and things of that nature. Okay, so at this point, the only way I desire to vote at this point, based on who we currently have available, the only way I see myself voting this time around on the presidential level, I'm not talking about on the state level, whether it's Florida, Georgia, Michigan, you know, state level. I'm not talking about on that level. On that level, I vote more on the individual. And I don't look at the political party as much as I do the individual. But on the federal level for presidency, based on, you know, who's out there currently running, um, the only combo that I'm willing to vote for is Trump and Scott. Trump and Scott. That's the only way I will vote. So on a federal presidential level, I am Republican. Period. On the state level, individual state level. I don't look at the political party, but I do look at the individual person. So that's the position I stand on. All right. So with all that being said, the first thing I would do is I possess the presidency. The first thing Dr. Leisha, the preacher would do would be to secure our borders. And what I mean by secure our borders, I mean to stop all entering and exiting. Entering and exiting. There will be no coming or going. Close the borders. Close them. Completely close them. Period. Close them. No coming or going. None. Zero. With that being said, that means I would pull my military back home. If I have military men and women outside of the United States, because there's wars breaking out internationally and there are threats to us. So I would be pulling my people back home. And people may say, she just don't understand military and that makes no sense. That's stupid and blah, 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 blah. Either we have our people home helping keep our uh, own borders secure we can use those skills that are being utilized outside of this country we need those skills here 
Because the same people that they're out there, you know, representing us, so to speak, they're out there in other countries representing us, but those people are turning on us, which means they're going to be holding our military hostage. It's almost like we're offering up our certain military to them. Well, I say pull them back home. Use them at our borders toward our enemies. Everybody is our enemy right now. Everybody is. Everybody is. Some enemies are high-level enemies, and some enemies are low-level enemies and not really posing a threat. But, you know, trust no one at this point. Pull our military. We need a plan, you know, and this may not happen overnight. Duh. But we need a plan of action to start pulling our military back in. As the world, the world is changing drastically, intentionally. I also would use our military, our own military of all branches at our borders around the entire country, the United States borders. When I say the entire country, I'm talking the United States borders need to be protected by our own military because we're shutting down closing the gates by now we have all tribes all nations in this country there's probably not one nation on this planet that is not here in this country so every nation probably on this planet is here represented in the United States somehow some way So close up the borders, take inventory of who is here. Don't let anyone leave. Don't let anyone more, any more people come in. Now, within the states, within the states, we need borders. We need military borders within the states. We need our United States surrounded with our own military. And then we need inner, we, inner state borders. Each state needs to, you know, suit up and boot up. Come on now. Each state. And then my third suggestion, so that's been three so far. One, secure our borders. Two, pull military back home. Three, previous presidential um, leaders, if you're still alive, we need a team. Any previous president and their supporters, their cabinets, their, you know, workers, whatever, if any of these people are still alive, we need a previous presidential team to be an advisor to the current president. Yeah, you know, we have a system set up, you know, of all type of representatives and, you know, senates and all this other stuff, right? Cool. I'm not saying get rid of that. I'm not. But I'm saying that when you have presidents that are alive, they need to graduate after their term and unite and, and, and graduate from the parties and unite and become the previous presidential team or whatever fancy name we want to use. I'm not a fancy woman. I'm from the hood. But these are my ideas as of yet, and I just wanted to get it out. Um, you know. And if you're wondering, well, who are you to speak this way or have any ideas? any ideas and why would you put this information out there? Well, you would have to watch other videos. 
I'll try to attach them on this video. If I can find some, I'll attach them on here. But for the most part, just watch. I have like 1,500 videos on this channel. Just start watching previous vid videos and you'll understand why I would make such, um, you know, analysis here. Yeah, that's it, guys. Um, click like, subscribe, share my video. I'm going to make a bunch of um, short videos. Um, you know, otherwise, everyone enjoy uh, the game today. Enjoy the game today. Yes, 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 yes. There is nothing wrong with entertainment. There is nothing wrong with keeping our spirits up, even during times of war and times of you know, securing borders and shutdowns and, you know. So now that we have a full country, we need to take inventory of who is here. Who is here, why they are here, and what to do with these people, including me. Somebody please do something with me. <laughs> I'm just saying, shoot, somebody do something with me. But no, everyone needs to be evaluated, examined, self-examined, self-examined, you know, medically examined, politically examined, religiously examined. We all need to take inventory of ourselves and the people in our lives and the people around us, you know. No coming and going until we have a clear understanding of exactly who is here and why. And under what circumstances. Take inventory. Let our military work for us inside. And once we have our affairs in order, then we can, you know, continue with whatever needs to continue. Otherwise, you know, we got to protect ourselves. And we need to, anyone that's here, that is on this soil, on this land, they're a part of us now. And that's why I say take inventory, get everyone, everybody processed, give everybody something to do, somewhere to be. And once we understand everything, then we can reconvene with the, the outside world if it still exists. All right, guys, click like, subscribe, share my video, click the notification bell, please, and donate. Donate to my channel. My cash app is dollar sign Dr. Leisha the Preacher. Okay. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on chit-chatting. All right, bye.